Hey everybody, Chris Martin here of Peak Prosperity. I'm um, out here in, uh, well, Texas somewhere, and I just want to talk to you today about what's going on out there in the markets. As we've understood, this past month, two months has been weeks where decades have happened, months where decades have happened. It's been extraordinary watching what China has done diplomatically with Saudi Arabia and Iran bringing them together watching what's happening with the United States, not responding to those challenges in any way, shape, or form, watching the dollar get de-dollarized very, very rapidly. Everything is energy, and the funniest thing, haha, not really, to be watching in this time is, is seeing now this climate emergency where Western nations are now busy with lots of foot soldiers out there wanting to take our own energy away from ourselves and i'm totally okay with an energy transition but you have to do it smart right it's like building a house you know you put the foundation in then the walls then the wiring then the sheetrock well i feel like the people who are out there trying to promote the new climate policy you know what they're doing they want to break it then rebuild it so let's stop oil then we'll get to this on it it is absolutely a tragically broken, non-strategic tactic that they're going to use. We're just going to break things. It's going to really honestly break things. So we're down here in Texas. You can hear a little more in the background. That is a gas compressor that's pushing gas from the wells that it was in, and it's sending it off to wherever that gas is going to. There are people out there who would want to stop that first and just break that. That is not the way to do this. So the way you've got to go forward with this policy transitioning if we're going to be able to do it at all without losing billions of people along the way because you got to be smart about it because we don't see that sort of intelligence yet out there with people having reasonable conversations we should be able to as adults we should be able to go hey what's the new energy source what is its return on investment what is its return on energy where what kind of uh energy form does it give us what does it not do for us where do we need it how is it sourced how is it transported all of that, that comes first. And that's not what not that's not what happened is what's happening. So what do you do? Well, you do what people are doing all over the world right now. So you get ready for a storm that's coming. You get ready for the idea that there's this incoherent conversation, such as it is, happening that's designed to break everything first and then rebuild. That's not how energy systems work. You if you break first. You don't get to rebuild. We should be rebuilding right now. But guess what? As much as Tesla cars are amazing, it's awesome to go from zero to 60 in a couple of seconds. That's not a solution to any of our predicaments or problems we're facing. We need a complete overhaul of our energy system. We have to make sure that we don't completely destroy our financial and monetary systems as we're going through that process. Because those are completely addicted to exponential growth. If you understand what's in the crash course and about money and how money creation works, how banking works, how our system of money works. Let me be, let me back up. Not money. Money is um is a, a a human construct that we'll have. Even if all of our currency flashes and burns, guess what? Ten years will be a new money system. It might involve shells, acorns, rabbit pelts, gold, silver, something. It won't matter. We will come up with a money system, but our current system of money is a fiat-based currency that is loaned into existence through a very corrupt central banking system and very corrupt political systems. And those are curdling towards disaster right now because they only have one plan, exponential infinite growth and habit. So if that's not going to happen, what is going to happen? We're going to slam into that brick wall at 150 miles an hour. That's what's coming. So how do you get prepared for that? What do you do? Well, <laughs> it's Evie and I, we get we get confused by that question all the time because what you know what you need to do? You need to do everything to get ready for that. There is no level of material preparation you can possibly do to be ready for that. But there's the mental preparation, there's the emotional preparation. Are you preparing just for yourself, for your family, for your near to well brother in law who laughs at you when you talk about these things, who you know is going to show up on your doorstep? Is it for your whole neighborhood? Have you thought these things through? But that's the world we're heading towards really, really fast right now. And all this noisy chaos about people, which bathrooms are they using? And are we going to criminalize certain types of behavior? Maybe we have to restrict everybody's speech. All of this is just noise of people who are nervous and skittish 
Because just like an animal out in the plains of the Serengeti who knows that the grass has gone down, we're nervous and should be. It's eaten through our our grasslands, as it were, and it's time to move on. Uh oh, nowhere to move on to. So if you want to know more about that, come by Peak Prosperity. Great people. We're talking about this all the time because what you need is you need a community of people who aren't nuts to talk about this with, like adults. You deserve it. You need it. That's what we do, Peak Prosperity. Come on by. Love to see you there. See you next time. You're talking to you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.